right now, Fal. I think you should be called the Parfessor because all this do young man does is rack up par. Parfessor. I love that actually. Dude, oh, oh, he's the Parfessor. He's the Parfessor. Let's go. And if you're looking for collaborations, try and reach out. Rest assured, we reached out to everyone and anything that was golf related. And we're just going to rely now on the comment section down below to make update videos of the top public courses that you could play. You and your friends want to go out in this area and play? We got the top public course celebration of golf. Let's zoom in now to the top five courses here. And uh, there's some great golf in Lexington, Kentucky. And we're here at Cherry Glossom Golf Club. The course is a 4.2 out of 5. And it has 196 golf reviews. Overall, the course stretches a long 6,000. 866 yards from those back tees. Built by Clintus Johnson in 2001 has bent grass greens and bent grass fairways. Well, there's still some great golf left on this list. We got four more courses to take a look at in the surrounding area, and more importantly, the public golf in this area. There's some great ones, and the list gets challenging as we move into number four. Let's zoom on in. Calamara Golf Course. It again has a 4.2 out of 5 with 220 golf reviews on Google. Overarching, this course is legit. It's also has been rated a top golf course within Kentucky. It has a slope of 125 and a rating of 71.2. The length of the course is 6,551 yards, being built in 1991 by Jack Ridge. The course goes up to about $47 on the weekend for 2023. So it has some twilight rates of $18 for walking and about $28 for walking on that $27 rate time frame of weekends and holidays. Well, we have cracked into the top three courses, and more importantly, you're going to get an education on great golf. And with that pun, we're moving into number three with University Club of Kentucky Golf Course. Current setup was designed by famous golf architect Arthur Hills. It consists of two separate 18-hole golf courses, totaling 36 holes total. There's the featuring course, which is Big Blue Course, stretching 7,018 yards. And there's also the Wildcat Course, which stretches, again, 6,680 yards. Both have a dozen lakes and ponds, providing players the beautiful, challenging round of golf for anyone playing. Overall, this course is home for the men and university golf teams of the University of Kentucky and hosts multiple tournaments. It's about $50 for weekend rates, but it does sneak up a little bit higher. And with 18 holes to choose, two 18 holes to choose from, there's a ton of golf here, and just you can find yourself experiencing a golf vacation like none other if this was a target area more importantly there's still two more courses so if you don't like what you see write down in the comment section rest assured we're going to comment back and even do a comment slash video of the top courses within the area after doing some more research we're not from the area we need your information so let's look at our number two course that has a 4.2 on google with 177 golf reviews that is the lakeside golf course overall this course is not too far from lexington also is a practice facility it originally opened in july of 1970 and is located on 100 85 acres of land the course is situated on multiple lakes and streams cutting right through it it was open year-round and has a length of 6,844 yards with a slope of 123 and a rating of 72.2 as four different tee boxes to choose from and the course was built by a local golf designer within the area just like that there's only one more course to look at and we did pull the best course within google so we do have that going for us with a 4.4 .4 out of 5 this government run course municipal 
County course is our number one course built in 1989 by Pete Dye. This is one of the best courses within the area on Google and also just after doing some research it seemed pretty quickly with four different tee boxes to choose from. It stretches 7,000 800 yards from those back tees has a slope of 131 and a rating of 73.5. Overall, this course has to be our number one course. Its link style has a ton of wind going through it. It looks like they take very good shape of it, and hopefully, we can hit this course in one of our Target Golf reviews. That's it. Not only do we do public educational content like this we do top golf courses in each area each city we do golf reviews we do a little bit of everything on this channel so keep a look at as the professor focuses on a golf channel for his retirement